Hello everyone, hello. <laughs> I think I was having a few technical problems there. It said you are having technical problems. <laughs> so hi everyone. Don't know whether you heard that. It came up saying I was having technical problems. So <laughs> I am I am surrendering this week to uh, Mercury retrograde. I don't know whether you know anything about um, astrology, but when Mercury goes retrograde, then it often means we have to be really uh, calm and peaceful in the light of holdups with technology, problems happening, wipeouts, communications going wrong. This is all Mercury retrograde, and I have had all sorts of strange things happening um, with the, um, the technology. So when I went to go live there and immediately said, we are having technical problems. I just started laughing. So I would highly recommend for the next three weeks, I can't remember when it ends, February 13th, I think, not sure. Don't quote me on that, could be wrong. But it's sometime in February, if you're interested in astrology and finding out about the power of um, Mercury retrograde and how that affects your life, then I, I thoroughly recommend the moon Moonology site and then you can find out a bit more so apologies there for a bit of delay um hello everyone i'm very excited again to be here i do get very excited when i'm i'm due to come on um i was out having my lovely walk this morning as i do doing my little video um you can find me on youtube on instagram um all under melanie wellard various formats my details are are attached to this video. Um, I do these, uh, not daily, but regular little videos that uplift people, get you to think about things. They're all very inspired. Spirits sort of tell me what I need to speak about in the morning, see where I get my inspiration from, and then they seem to be helping people. So you can go check those out. Um, okay, so what I wanted to do, I like to start off is do some cards for everybody. Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone, you're coming on. Lovely, hi, Kerry, Katie, Liz, Denise, Cheyenne. Oh, is that Luke? Okay, sorry, is that the different way around? Diane, Kit Kat, what a lovely name, brilliant. Okay, so hi to all of you. Um, I always like to start off as well by just saying, please ignore any spammers. I understand that these are on the rise at the moment, especially with readers, um, medium psychics. They are jumping on their pages. They're copying their pages, contacting their clients, etc. So um, do know, I will say uh, straight away, I will never reach out and say something like i have a message for you and i need money or whatever don't ever ever please anyone fall for these you must know that they are scams do not do them if they appear on here um, if i happen to see them then i will delete them or i will block them if i can but here's the thing i say this every week don't let your attention be distracted it's like um like the play of the dark and the light okay stay in this lovely group stay in this lovely uplifting energy don't let your attention get drawn away so if they do contact you text you just delete it just ignore it okay don't let yourself be distracted and spirit say to me all the time that this is what's going on in the world big time we can get distracted from our path by it's like you know oh look shiny little things over here um and oh, hang on a minute, I'm just going to leave what I'm doing and I'm going to go over and see those shiny things over there because that looks like an offer that's too good to be true. Um, well, you know what they say about offers that seem too good to be true. So um, so please just don't allow yourself to be distracted. They do seem to be on the rise, these spammers or scammers or whatever they're called. They're not welcome. So um, just let's stick with our lovely little group. And I just want to call in um, the angels I work with here just to bring in a beautiful light around us all um, just so that healing and calm can take place and bringing you into a wonderful space so I'm just going to do a card for all of us to start with and let's see what the 
theme is for today. Okay. Okay, well, there we go. Isn't that wonderful? I pulled two here, but straight away what came out, so considering what I've just done and put that bubble around us, how about that? I just pulled angelic protection. Okay, so isn't that a wonderful confirmation that they just heard me and they're doing that work for us. Now, the other one I pulled was self-acceptance. Now, that can be a toughie for all of us. Um, and I'm just going to pull one from this pack as well, which are the surrender cards and what we need to let go of in order to move forward more successfully. Okay, I've pulled a cup. There you go. So what I've got here, <laughs> surrender to inner peace. Isn't that a lovely picture? Surrender to inner peace and surrender to complete healing. Okay, so if we take this together with self-acceptance, okay, um, what I would say is, okay, what am I getting for this? Right, okay, if I was to ask you the question, who are you? It's funny, I had this card as well in my, my little um, musing this morning, my little video as well, this came up. Um, if I was to say to you, who are you when you look in the mirror? What do you really see? Do we sometimes, do you cover yourself up with um, the trappings of the external world, which can be done through, you know, we all um, might do certain things with our looks or or we look to, um, you know, what are the labels that you have on you? Um, if we think, are we mother, wife, husband, parent, brother, youngest, eldest, the person that lives in that house or the person that owns that car or the person that has that job and has that title above their name or under their name for their job. These are all things we do and we accumulate, but this is not who we are. So I feel the question here, it's quite a biggie, um, the advice we're all being given today is we need to start with the journey of more self-acceptance of who we truly are. Looking in the mirror and being able to say, I love you. Or if that's too uncomfortable, at least I like you. And see what happens in your solar plexus when that happens, what feelings come up for you. And it's a famous Louise Hay technique and it works very, very well. I do it with a lot of clients because depending on what feelings come up or how we feel about that, a lot of emotion can come up with that type of exercise. But then it, it is demonstrating where the healing needs to take place. So where you might get those sensations. And if you don't immediately agree with yourself when you say that, then there is a healing journey that needs to take place. Because in order to have inner peace, we need to have acceptance of ourselves, of who we are, where we are now. And with that comes fantastic inner peace. So if you're constantly hiding from the world or wanting the world to see you in a certain way, um, then it's, it's asking the question, what am I hiding behind? Do we sometimes as women wear loads and loads of makeup? I see that a lot in young people now, um, like almost like a mask. Um, and who are we behind that? Do we want to be like everybody else? What's that about? I want to have what everyone's got, look like everyone is, do what everyone does. Um, I have lots of quirky ways. I consider myself, people might say, hey, you're weird. I love weird. Weird is good. I'm going to get that on a T-shirt. I love it. I want, you know, I want to be thought of as different. Um, whether they think that's good or bad, it doesn't really matter to me because that's who I am. So have a think about that one, everybody. OK, right. I'm going to get on with some just connect, disconnect from that. Let's um, look at doing some readings. And see what your next steps, as I've entitled it this morning.
uh, sorry, that's morning for me in England. <laughs> so I know it's evening for a lot of you. Okay. Cheryl. Cheryl Murray. Cheryl. Is it Cheryl or Cheryl? Cheryl. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Sorry if I'm not. Okay, sure. All right, let's just link in with you and see what we get here. Okay, Cheryl, as I'm linking in with you, uh, my energy sort of dropped here. And um, what I'm feeling is you are feeling pretty low on energy, if that makes sense. I feel quite a sadness with you, if that makes sense. Um, and a feeling of lack of motivation it's almost like is it just all too much like hard work if that makes sense um i'm just going to have a look here so just link in with me at the moment with these cheryl and i just want to see okay see what this block might be to help you move forward for your next step Right, I feel that there's something quite serious going on in your life at the moment. Um, a bit of a struggle going on with somebody else. Um, what I've got for you here is surrender your desire to control people and surrender denial. Okay, now um, I feel like it's almost like you're hanging on to something by your fingertips. You're trying to keep control of the situation to um, think if, if I just try and mould it, if I try and use force of will to make this happen the way I want it to happen, it'll all work out. Um, but I want to sort of say, let go on that. It's almost like with surrender denial, there's definitely an element here of seeing the truth in the matter. It's taking, you know, I was just talking about the masks, but this is taking the mask off the eye that's keeping you blind all right um now this may be looking inward it might be um actually accepting that sometimes this is something you do um in trying to um if i can get someone to do it the way i want them to do it they're going to be okay because i feel that this is very good intentions it's almost like you know um trying to give someone advice and saying, if I can just make you do it my way, um, then you'll be okay. And this can really hurt when people don't take our advice, especially loved ones. But here's the thing, we are not here to save anyone. We can support and care for somebody, but it's about walking the journey with them and we have to respect their, um, their views and their path of their life, okay? And the mistakes they might make. So um, because you've also got here surrender to divine timing. So it just feels like, you know, you've got to let it go a bit because the right time will come. They will work it out. Um, it is that just being patient, whereas when we get into that high anxiety state, of trying to just make it happen, try and hold back the forces, so to speak, um, hold back um, and force a situation to happen the way we want it to happen. Um, this just can cause so much sadness and so much grief. Um, I hope that makes sense. I just want to um, just have a look at the, uh, the angel cards here to see the advice that they might have for you in moving forward from this. Okay, right. So this is interesting. You had their surrender to divine timing, allowing that things have to work. We have to work with the universe with um, we can't force everything to our will. OK, and sometimes the more we try that, the more it doesn't happen. And you've again pulled the sacred plan. All right. And this feels to me that there is a greater plan going on behind this. If you can just trust um, but at the same time, as you've got the, the denial card about seeing the truth in the matter. 
So rather than pushing, it's stepping back and really trying to just see what the truth is because you've also got cut the cord. Okay, this might be a time for um, allowing someone to go on their own path. All right, so that sort of backs up that. And it just feels to me, if I go back to that, the, um, the message for all of us, it's, um, you know, trying to find that I'm just sort of being drawn to the inner peace card. Um, I'm going to give you um, actually, Cheryl, an affirmation. But it feels like in order to find that inner peace, it's almost like you've just got to let go. All right. Surrender doesn't mean giving up, my love. All right. It, um, surrender means allowing yourself to go with the flow, surrendering to that bigger plan that, that there is a often a bigger plan for all of us going on. So I'm going to give you an affirmation that might help you with this. OK. Right. So what did we have earlier? Self-acceptance. And this seems perfect. As I learn to love myself, I become powerful. As I learn to love myself, I become powerful. And when I do these readings, you may find a lot of you that it resonates for you as well. I am being I am linking in with a lot of the energy of the group. So please take any good advice that comes for someone else that could be for you. And when we're talking about self-acceptance, that is a wonderful affirmation. You could write it down, pin it up above your bathroom mirror. Um, I'm going to read you the other side as well. I do not need to wait until I become perfect before I love myself. Isn't that fabulous? Because that's just what came up in that first reading. Loving myself is the quickest way to create a wonderful life. And that's exactly what we were talking about, the self-acceptance, wasn't it? So I do not need to wait until I become perfect. Let you see it. Before I love myself. Loving myself is the quickest way to create a wonderful life. And if you remember when I first spoke and I was being told what the theme was for this evening, it was um, self-acceptance to find inner peace and healing. OK, so it feels to me, my love, that your situation is literally um, buying into that as a situation as well. And those affirmation cards are just absolutely perfect. So I think that's a wonderful one for helping you out and also for all of us for help self-acceptance. I hope that makes sense, Cheryl. So. Um, OK. K okay, Symington, I'm drawn to you. K. Okay. So as I say, I would say to everybody, when we're doing these groups, um, obviously within an, an hour we can't get to. I can't get to everybody. Um, you can always book in a private session with me, which is you can book in an hour, two hours. People work with me on. Um, uh, you know, I might start with a reading. A reading indicates where you're at at the moment and what energies might be coming into your life. Um, but then it's how do you get there? And that's where I bring in the coaching and the healing, because sometimes we need to need help in, in healing the blocks that are holding us back. So telling you what they are is one thing, but it's then how do you change that? Um, and then with the coaching, people work with me on an ongoing basis to actually get to where they want to get to. So. Um, the details are attached to, will be attached to this video, um, melaniewellard.co.uk is my website, um, or join me for my morning mindful musings. Um, just look for Melanie Wellard on YouTube, and uh, I'm on Facebook as well. Okay, right, so what I would say is the messages that I'm giving to people, um, where as you sit in this group, think of it like we're all sitting in a, in a workshop in a big circle, OK? And whilst I might pick one name and look at their situation, 
um, do actually um, do actually listen because that message could just as well be for you as well okay because we're looking at quite deeper themes here i tend to look at what needs healing within you um, in order to help you move on okay so okay let's have a look at you okay okay Trying to um, link into the feeling I get with you. And there's a feeling of, um, if this makes sense to you, feeling that you feel like you're becoming invisible. Um, I feel that you're cutting off from people around you. Um, or it might be you want to cut off. I'm just being shown you sort of like drifting back away from people. But this is a sense, I feel a sense here of a bit of isolation. Um, again, a feeling of, I can't really be bothered to engage or um, just all feels a bit too much, if that makes sense. I do feel, um, I want to say sense of exhaustion with you. I just got the word adrenal exhaustion. Um, I'm not a medical practitioner, but, um, you know, that you may relate to that. Um, so I do feel that there is definite need for looking at your lifestyle um yeah i'm i'm picking up sort of quite extreme tiredness with you okay i'm just going to have a look here um at what might be blocking you Okay. Well, to start with, I've got here surrender to silence. Um, so there is a sense of letting go um, and this need to want to retreat. Um, and so this is where I feel the rest comes in, the need for rest, the, the time for quiet, for just stepping back a little bit. But there's a difference between retreating and then isolating yourself. Okay. Do you understand that? This feels like, um, just be careful, there's a fine line between the two. So I do see the need for rest. I do see the need for some inward journey. I feel there is a need to, um, okay, um, I'm getting here that um, whether you do it already, but the need for, gent I want to say gentle meditation. So the going inward and seeing what answers lie within your heart, okay? Because you've also got here, surrender to your intuition, okay? That voice um, within, it feels to me that that is telling you. <laughs> it's giving you messages and I'm just being shown you're turning away at the moment going, I haven't got time for that. Um, I haven't got time to work on that. I haven't got time to do this. But where I picked up with that um, tiredness, it feels like your body's telling you, this is the time. All right, you can't put it off anymore. Because I've also got here surrender to the I surrender the idea that you can let me try it over there. That light's as bright as me. Surrender the idea you can fix someone. Um, I feel this is similar to um, to Cheryl as well. It just feels um, you know we we can't fix somebody else. I'm feeling there is it's almost like let go. Let somebody run their own life. They'll have to make their own mistakes. Um, because I feel I want to turn this, I'm, I want to turn this card around. And it's like, you're the one you need to be helping and supporting at the moment, okay? Um, I just feel there is a real need there for you to um, indulge yourself in self-care. Okay, I'm just gonna see what other message might be here for you. Okay, I've got here um, opportunity and change, but with this, I'm being told that um, what I'm getting here is now is the opportunity for you to make the changes that you need to make, that you know you need to make, but you've been putting off. I just keep saying, hold that back there. I don't want to look over there. I can't deal with that yet, but it's time to let that barrier down. It's time to be 
the work now. OK, I'm not going to talk about personal details of any of these on a public site. That is obviously for a private um, reading. So I, I hope that has helped. Um, oh, thank you, Sean. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you, Diane. Thank you. Yes, lovely crystal, isn't it? Beautiful friend from Australia made it for me. OK. Yes, I agree, Katie, even breaking your energy to report them. So I agree. We're talking about the, the scammers again, um, whatever they're called. Um, people that aren't invited, people that have no um, wish to be in our group. They just want to pull you away. So keep your attention in our group. Have a think about it that we're all in this beautiful room. I've just put this lovely healing energy all around us and there's people peeking in the window. Yeah. So you can either keep your attention on this beautiful energy and don't get distracted or you can keep going. Who's that? Who's that tapping on the window? And then you've lost that link. So just keep yourself focused. OK. Right. So Katie Marie. OK, my love, I want to just have a look at you. Oh, I'm feeling the need to. Katie, do you work with the moon? I want to bring in the moon cards here for you. OK, I want to sort of say, call you a bit of a moon goddess here. Um, are you really, are you really influenced? Do you notice the influence you have on the moon cycles? Let me just see. Um, if you're not. I want to say be more aware of it. Oh, sorry, I'm feeling um, quite a lot of pressure. Sorry, spirit tend to give me the, the sensations that might be coming uh, for someone else. And I'm feeling a pressure and a blockage around. It's almost this bit. So it's between the throat and the heart. Um, and I feel that you're suppressing something that you need to say. All right. Now, this may be. Um, I do need to say, though, that um, we always need to think about saying what we need to say. We use this phrase speaking our truth, but um, we say it with compassion because truth without compassion is cruelty. And um, so this feels like there is a conversation that needs to be had uh, with someone close to you, but it needs to be said gently. So to start with, I feel that you need to settle this feeling first, all right? So maybe write it down first, purge it first um, of what you want to say, and then that'll take the high emotion out of it, if that makes sense. Because um, otherwise it can just come pouring out. And I would always advise this to everybody, you know, before we just rant at someone and then the damage is done and it's hard to come back from, I would say, um, Sometimes write it down first, not to give to them. Well, sometimes writing a letter can help. Um, say, so read that and then we'll talk. I've done that a few times in my life if you think someone's not going to listen. Um, but yeah, so let's just see what the moon cards have to say for you, Katie. Okay, right. Well, this is interesting. I've got the creation card here. Um, and what I'm feeling for you, Katie, is um, I want to say that you've got lots to say. All right. So beyond what we just talked about, this is something else. I feel that you are a very good, um, you have some real wisdom to impart. All right. So I want to say to get it out, to write it down, to share it, um, however you choose to do that. It's, it doesn't matter almost who reads it or whatever, but just get it out there, share it, um, because I feel there's a great wisdom with you. And there are words that people would welcome and need to hear. And what you have to think about is in this world, I'm new to this social media world. I've, I've avoided it <laughs> for many years. And then with my work, I've had to get used to it. But I see all this thing about getting more people to watch you and et cetera, et cetera. But 
And maybe I'm naive about wanting it to happen organically, that if people are drawn to you as they were, if I did a, a mind, body, spirit fair, which obviously we're, we're not able to run at the moment. But um, I just feel for you, my, what I want to say to you, and the reason I'm saying that, um, Katie, is that, you know, even if one person sees your message, one person sees your message and it affects their life and it helps them. That's it. You've you've lived your purpose for that. OK, um, because I've also got again, this keeps coming up a lot, isn't it? Peace, peace of mind we had earlier. And it feels to me that this would bring you a sense of peace, but you can all also bring others a sense of peace. Through what you have to say. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. All right, so it just feels like these are messages that come from within um, and that I feel that they could help others. All right, I hope that makes sense. Okay. Okay, Christy Pasalich. Have I pronounced that correctly, Pasalich? Or that's lovely. That sounds nice <laughs> the way I said it. So I apologise if I've said it wrong. Um, Christy. Okay, right. Break the link to previous reading. Christy, Christy. Right, I'm being drawn to my crystal cards. I want to give you a crystal that would be of use to you. Um, do you work with crystals in any way? Um, or are you drawn to them a lot? Because these aren't normally what I would um, use, but I will use them to let somebody know what crystal might be good for them. But I'm being drawn here that the answer to your next steps is within one of these. So, okay, let's see what's for you. Because they're taking my attention to my pendant and I'm being shown that you also um, have some beautiful pendants, um, but you like things to have meaning um, rather than just sort of putting something on. It, it feels like you have to have an emotional link with this. Um, Right, let's just see what this wants to give you. So as you can see, I work many different modalities. I'm a psychic medium, sometimes spirit comes through. I use oracle cards, but it's all it's all happening at the same time. So I'm just guided and I do it uniquely for everybody else. Um, and that's the same with, with working with people long term. Um, OK, right. I think this is going to resonate. I've got citrine quartz. Citrine. Creativity leads to abundance. All right. So um, another creative soul here, I feel. Um, but it, it's like you've been holding back. It's like you, you, are, you have untapped talents, is what I want to say. And it's time to step out in the world, is what I'm getting. You've been holding yourself back to too much, all right, for too long. And it's time to, you're getting gently nudged. Um, I always do that wrong. Mirror, mirror, I see that little cage there, look. See, door's open there, door is open. You are free to fly. We keep ourselves in our little self-imposed cages due to fear, all right? And I just feel for you, it is time to step up and step out, all right? Um, Try something new or there's something. No, I'm getting that there's something already. There's this untapped talent. You sort of know what it is, um, but you're a bit shy to actually show it to the world. So, um, oh, and here we go. I'll read this for you here. It says, I am here because you have many talents. This is the crystal card. OK, it's the angel of citrine quartz. I am here because you have many talents. Your creativity is waiting to blossom. There you go. Almost my exact words. I promise you I hadn't read that first. Um, your abundance lies within your creativity. You are already creative and give yourself credit. There is much more that I can bring to you. Develop your creativity, then you will understand the meaning of abundance. 
The citrine quartz can bring you confidence. It can repair the solar plexus and sacral chakras. It will help retrieve your inner child and bring new life to any ideas. And it can relieve tension and stress in the abdomen. So it may be a court, a just you might want to just link in with the energy of it. You might have some already or you might want to get someone work with the energy. But um, I, I hadn't, I literally only held that up to you and read the title. But um, that was already um, giving me that message about it's time for you to step out there. All right, step out. Come on. Let's just, I understand we need help and support sometimes in making those changes. Okay, so I just want to see what else might be. I just want to see what might be holding you back other than. OK, another one, you've got surrender your desire to control people. This is still for Christy. OK, um, but I feel here that this is also sometimes trying to control the situation, trying to keep yourself feeling safe and controlling um, the world around you. Um, and I want to say with creativity, you need to get into that sense of flow. You need to let that out, um, tap into that. And the fact that it's saying around, um, um, yeah, what we had earlier with the, um, the chakras, the lower chakras, it feels like you need to work with that. I almost want, I keep wanting to do this. I want to say, get it moving, get those hips moving, get that sacral chakra um, loose, loosened up to release that creative energy. All right. So it's just get it moving. It feels like there's some stagnant, stuck energy there. All right. And it's time to get that out and move on. Um, OK, on to the next. I hope that made sense. Because here I'm just going to just close that link down. Just right. Oh, I'm glad that made sense, y'all. OK, Kit Kat. Kit Kat. I like that okay right okay i've got another um i i feel that spirit are drawing me today to those of you that are if you saw right from the beginning and i pulled the self acceptance for all of us as the theme for this evening and i'm feeling here kit kat that um i want to say um i love the, the sh that shortening of the name but I want to say um, I want you to own is that your birth name all right um, because I want you to own who you are there's a feeling here of again putting um, you know changing a name and that changes the energy and it's lovely but I feel they're wanting you to it's like you're taking a step back from who you are it's almost like a bit of hiding from the world and I want to say again, I'm trying to push you through a curtain. It's like pull back the curtain and step out onto the stage. OK. Um, what am I going to use with you? This is interesting. I'm getting sort of lots of different energies with you, Kit Kat. It's like you. Um... Right. OK, I was just checking in as to why I'm, I'm not being drawn to any particular um, group of cards at the moment. And what I'm being told here is that there's an element where you're not quite sure who you are. You're not quite sure where you're going, who you are, what you what what should I do next? Does that make sense? I feel this almost drifting um, and you, you change your mind over. And that's why I think they're saying it's owning who you are. And as you own who you are, own your passions, find out what your real passions are, looking at your values and starting to really live your life um, through those. I hope that makes sense. Um, I just want to keep saying, draw back the curtain, draw back the curtain um, and step out onto the center stage of your life. Um, I think this is happening to lots of people at the moment. It's it's time not to be hidden anymore. It's time to step up and step out. All right. Um, OK, let me see again. I'm now going to use the Moonology cards with you and just see. Oh, OK, well, there you go. I'm talking about going through the curtain, stepping into your new life. And look, that's the card I've pulled for you. Can you see that? Stepping through 
stepping through all right into the new life beyond it's like it's realizing who you are what you're capable of doing does that make sense kit kat because there is so much more to you than meets the eye all right own it own who you are you are a beautiful divine being you're a beautiful soul i can feel your energy but i want to just push you through that door all right this is your opportunity now to step up and step through does that make sense okay right Cherie, Cherie, Mill. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, Sherry. Oh, look, I'm starting <laughs> the reading for you at 11.11. Very auspicious number. Okay. Sorry, I keep scratching my nose. When I work with spirit, <laughs> they, they give me sort of like, it's like they're touching me and it's like little tickles all over. So <laughs> it's, let me just take some. Okay, Sherry. Let's cut the cord with the previous reading. Okay, um, I'm just hesitating here, Sherry, because I'm getting this sensation I'm being drawn physically to something with you. Are you getting a lot of shoulder pain, neck pain? I'm feeling sort of um, heaviness and almost numbness. Uh, deep stress pain, I want to say, holding a lot of weight on your shoulders. All right, if that makes sense. Um, oh, time to let go of some of that. All right, um, I'm not going to go into the personal details on here, but I definitely feel, okay, let's have a look at this. I definitely feel it's time to, um, I want to say shrug off a lot of that, but you need to, I'm just feeling this also needs a bit of, might need some physical help. Um, yeah, I'm just getting a lot of tightness and it just feels like, you know, oh, you know it's really feeling all too much. Um, carrying the weight of the world, my love. Um, okay, let's see what's going on for you. I'm just gonna pull one of those first. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to see what you needed to let go of. I've got here surrender frustration. That's what I'm feeling is all in the shoulders. It's carrying the weight. It's stress. It's sort of um, and that's what I'm getting. Just time to let some of it go. All right. Because I am getting there's a need for prioritizing here. All right. Um, you're talking about your next steps over the next few months, but that's going to be slow and sluggish unless you get your priorities straight now, because I'm being shown it's time to let go of some of this. All right. It is time to drop some of this. Trying. Time to drop other people's problems that you're trying to solve. I'm also being drawn to a work situation. And I'm um, what I'm getting here is needing to, again, you're taking on a lot. I feel that you're taking on more than your fair share. Um, overloading yourself a bit. I'm getting a, leading to a sense of overwhelm. So it's time to almost just take inventory. All right. Of what's going on? I feel that you have a good business brain. OK, so you know what I'm saying. I feel normally you're quite organized and it's just all feeling a bit chaotic um, and you're not happy with that. So it just so it feels like a need to almost just putting it into piles and being shown and seeing what needs to be done now. Where am I heading? What do I need to do to take those next steps? Because I do feel there's some change is going to take place in your um, in your work. Um, but it's like you've got an opportunity for going up the ladder. So whether that's personal um, in your own situation um, of work or within a company, um, I just feel that there is some room for development more and going higher, all right? But with all this overload, it's almost like, well, I can't move forward because I'm carrying this huge, you know, it's like you're holding this huge sack on your back filled with rocks. And a lot of this is not yours. I feel you are carrying other people's burdens, um, carrying a lot of worry, um, and it's time to sort of get rid of that. And sometimes, you know, it is as easy as that. 
it can be our mind that's controlling the situation and we need to change our mindset in order to move on. Does that make sense? So let's have a look here. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Something new coming in. New life coming to you. New opportunities. So that's just confirming what I was saying, but you need to offload some of this to go forward lighter. All right. Then you know where you're heading. Um, but there is a sense of sort of drowning in it at the moment. Um, <laughs> OK, so this is what you're heading for. Bringing more pleasure into your life. And with this, that's what comes as you let go of all these burdens, because this has been sorely lacking in your life. Is that right? Um, really sorely lacking. But as I said to you all before, you know, some of these messages will be relevant to the rest of you as well, which is what I was told would happen um, in this group. Um, so do take that on board, the rest of you, if you feel that that also resonates. You know, it's have you been neglecting the pleasure in your life, the fun, the joy? All right. And we just keep taking on all these worries as if that's what we're meant to do. Well, we have enough, okay? There are challenges enough in life. We don't need to add to it with worry. I'm just being shown here, um, you know, worry doesn't solve anything, all right? We can sit and worry, worry, worry about everything. And I ask the question, and how does that go for you? How many problems have you solved through worrying about it? It just adds another rock in your, in your big sack on your back to weigh you down, all right? So, Find some techniques. Um, obviously, can't teach you those here today, but find some techniques to, to let go of the worry. Um, I find I have an affirmation that every time worry starts taking over, because the mind is sort of almost programmed to do that, I start saying a certain affirmation. Um, and it immediately brings me back. It's like, again, that distraction there. I've gone over there and then it brings me back, okay, into centre and the worry's gone. Situation is the same. But the worry has gone and I'm not adding to it. So I just feel you need to try that. Um, I'm going to give you an affirmation as well, Shuri. Okay, I'm just going to give you an affirmation here. Okay. So as I said before, Bammers are coming in, all right? Please ignore, just delete and ignore them, all right? I've heard they're actually illegal activities um, some other place in the country, so very dodgy if you link in with them, all right? So please don't. Okay, Sherry, what's your affirmation? <laughs> okay, there we go. This will help you to get rid of those worries and those rocks. I affirm only the good in life. I affirm only the good in life. And the other side says, I am in harmony with all that surrounds me and I am at peace. That word peace again, okay? I am in harmony with all that surrounds me. I am at peace. All right, so say those, you know, um, you can write these out, pin them up, say them every day. Um, and you can use that to help bring you back. If you find a positive, a favorite affirmation, it becomes like a trigger as your worry mind goes off. Um, you're adding more burdens that almost become imaginary because we're adding layers to what the situation is. Um, and this is what I feel for you in order to move forward into these new opportunities. Leave the rest of that baggage behind. All right. OK, I hope that was useful. Thank you. Ignore all the spammers or the trolls or whatever they are. You're welcome, Cheryl. 
Alyssa, 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 Alyssa. Whitfield. Okay, just to um, say once again, my details are um, will be attached to this video. Um, when it goes up, you can contact me um, through my website, the email. Oh, that just fell out for you, Alyssa. I'll use that one. Um, so I do a variety of modalities. I work with people long term. Yours are all jumping out here. <laughs> um, and whilst I'm a psychic medium, I'm also an executive coach. So I can help you work with you to go right to the heart of the issue of what is going on in your life. And then um, a lot of people work with me on a regular basis, once a month to really transform their life because a reading only goes so far. It just can highlight a bit and give you a bit of advice, but you've then got to go and make those changes. Okay. If you do nothing, then nothing changes. All right. So um, if you'd be interested in working with me further, then just pop over and have a look at my website. I do all sorts of things. So I'm very varied. I'm a laughter yoga instructor now. I'm a chakra dance facilitator. I've just started my training to be a celebrant so I can do weddings and funerals officiate over those as well. So I love helping people in whatever way I'm taken. So I lose all my gifts um, with anyone I work with. Right, Alyssa, what fell out straight away for you? Surrender stress. Let it go. All right, surrender stress. Now I'm just going to link in with this for you and see what's going on. Okay, my love, I have got you a bit sort of with your head in your hands like this, um, wondering which way to turn next. Um, and okay, I'm not going to go into personal details on here, okay? Um, but I do feel a sense that you've lost your way a bit, all right? But if I, I'm being shown here like there's two paths, right? It's two roads parallel. And you've sort of just gone off at a bit of a tangent on one of them. Um, and you're feeling a bit like you've walked off into the fog, into the woods or something, and you're a bit lost. But literally, I'm just being shown you can just turn back and step back onto the path again. All right. I'm not being shown that this is a really hard thing to do for you. Does that make sense? Um, because I feel it's just like there's a bit of uh, lack of motivation coming a bit here into your life. Um, I've got surrender to your passion and this feels that it's almost like you've gone I haven't got time to do the things I want to do um, again I feel somebody here who you're doing a huge amount for others all right and I want to just say boundaries 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 and I know these things can sound ever so trite when I say them um, and sometimes we need help to actually achieve that but I would just like you to do one thing today. Write down three things that bring you joy. Where if you could, some people, you know, you get to a point where you go, I don't know what my passion is anymore. I don't know what that is. I'm just caught up with the day to day. Feels like drudgery of life. So try using a different word. What brings you happiness? What brings a smile to your face? What brings you joy? And this can be very little things. For me, walking in the woods, walking with my dog brings me massive amounts of joy. Dancing around the kitchen, put my music on and just dance around. Massive joy, lifts my heart. Um, I'm feeling this is bring little things, whatever little things you can bring in to make a change today. I'm being told here that this is quite urgent for you. All right. Um, Pulled as well here for another one of you, surrender your desire to control people. Um, now, when we say that, this doesn't mean, you know, cruelly controlling people. This can mean sometimes that we can see that we'd, we want to help people and we want to say, look, if only you'll do this, then um, you'll be better. And that can happen with our loved ones a lot. OK, so I just feel for you, there is an element there of stepping back. I want to say, Take your focus off others, turn it back to yourself. Um, I'm feeling there's a lot of that in this group today. Um, I'm going to give you a crystal card as well. 
yeah okay i'm just going to give you this angel card um this sort of backs that up clear cancel and release um clear putting up those boundaries that i just said um stopping doing certain things giving too much help to other people release the need to make it all better for everyone else i know these things are easier said than done um but then you get me allow space in your life to bring those things of joy into your life if that makes sense so i'm just going to quickly pull you a crystal card have you got okay beautiful blue lace agate we've got for you blue lace agate okay and i want to i want to almost place this on my heart i want to bring you some kindness to yourself all right uh, really feel this is important all right in what i just said it says reach for the skies and there is a vision to behold the angel of blue lace agate says i bring you these energies from a divine source and will enable you to communicate with your divine self I give you love and also wisdom and bestow upon you the power to heal, not only yourself, but others. You can seal, heal yourself by healing others. Now, yes, you have that ability to help others. But I, the thing I'm getting as the sort of like the flashing light here is to use this and others. You may want to actually get yourself some blue lace agate um, or just work with the energy of it. Um, this is about healing yourself. OK, I really feel that is necessary. All right. So I hope that's helped. Um, you're welcome, Cheryl. Oh, I'm so sorry, Wendy. I'm so sorry. Yep, I am in the UK. Yep, we are all in a lovely big circle. That's what I like to think. I've brought you all in. That's what's lovely about this. I mean, as an energy healer, everything is energy. OK, everything is energy. So what has been amazing with, with the technology is it doesn't matter where you are in the world. We are in this same space together. All right, because we are all one. And that's what I feel this has taught us around the world is that we are all so connected. Um, and I love to promote our similarities as well as being individual but rather than people pointing out our differences oh thank you ashley i send you a hug too um oh gone away these move up so quick sorry oh that's brilliant christy okay right i'm coming to the end i'm just going to do one more Oh, God, that makes sense, Kit Kat. Okay, Gay Marie. Is that your first name or is it the other way around? I'm not sure. Is it Marie Gay? Gay Marie? Okay. So... And then what I will do is I will pull a final card for all of you um, when I've just done this. So, okay. I'm being drawn to the moon oracle again with um, you, Gay. I just, um, do you use the moon's energy a lot? Um, you stare at the moon a lot. I've got you sort of being a moon gazer. You know the, the, the sacred hair, the goddess hair, moon gazing hair. I just got you sort of connecting in. There's a strong goddess energy with you, I feel. Um, right. Okay. Right, I've got the card. Um, I'm going to do this a different way around. I've got the card action for you. And as I'm linking in with this, um, what I'm feeling is you're giving you're getting a kick up the backside it's time to move forward time to take action no more excuses um 
no more distraction. You need to get up and get out. All right, get moving on that. Um, there we go. And I just literally pulled from another pack and you got transformation. Okay, uh, this is your time. All right, this is time to take action, transform you and your life. Um, and I feel there's an energy of something new coming into your life now. This feels like very urgent energy. Um, whatever excuses you're saying to not launch forward or take up an opportunity, drop it, do it. Um, it feels like that's uh, that's what you need to be doing. Yeah, look, sorry. I just, I just thought I'd, I'd get triply checked here. You're ready. Okay, that's three different packs of cards. Action transformation the action will bring about transformation and stop using excuses because you are ready whatever you're saying okay all right so i'm going to now do a quick um reading for everybody all right so just to finish off i'm going to just do something for everyone here all right we're going to use these ones oh okay i'm getting told to use one from each That just flew out. I'm almost taking them out of my hands. Okay, so this is the last message for all of you to finish up. Right, well, isn't that interesting? What came at the beginning finishes with angelic protection. That's what I call in around this group every time I link in. I ask that this goes with you in your days ahead and that you are guided on your right steps. But here's the thing, listen to your intuition, okay? So asking for help outside is all well and good, but, um, oh, they're bringing that feeling through again. Um, you know your own truth, okay? And sometimes we just need to go inward. We need to connect with that inner voice and allow it a voice. That's why they're choking me. <laughs> Ask them to take that away, please. Um, listen to your intuition because we all have it. We just need your heart will never lie to you. Okay, your heart will never lie to you. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, as I say, go to my website, have a look. You can contact me through that, melaniewellard.co.uk. Um, and do join me on my regular little um, videos that help hopefully uplift you. Um, that is on YouTube. Um, they're all, the details are all below will be attached to this, um, this video. Okay. So I wish you all a wonderful week ahead. Thank you so much for joining my lovely little group. So I love having you all in my home here. So that's how I see this. And um, I have a lovely affirmation that I say um, for myself all the time. I am safe and all is well. I am safe and all is well. And I wish that for you too. Take care. Bye.